With me now is Hernandez. Now, you recently defeated Edge Stone, one of the up-and-comers here at SWE, and the powers that be are now deciding on two people to go against for the Texas title. How do you feel about your odds in that? Well, there should be no odds. The powers that be knows one of the guys is standing right before them. I've wrestled from here to there all around Texas. So, in fact, I've been to all Japan, Mexico, you name it. Texas legend's right here. Texas title needs to be right here. In fact, let me go find the powers to be. El Jefe! <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to SWE Fury. I'm Bob Malden. We're at the Irving Convention Center here, where we're about to see Hernandez and the heartthrob Jaden squaring off here. Referee Soda Hendricks here for this opening contest. Starting off with heartthrob getting Hernandez in a headlock there. Ooh, big shoulder though, and uh, no, not having any of that. Hernandez says, go for it again, boy. And uh, there goes heartthrob Jaden again, the young heartthrob here in SWE Fury. Versus the veteran, Hernandez. Heartthrob Jaden, as you'll remember, is the son-in-law of Road Warrior Animal. Duck in the clothesline there from Hernandez and comes back with a shoulder tackle of his own. The heartthrob Jaden at one point, one half of the golden heartthrobs with Bam Bam Malone. Uh-oh, did you see that? Came down and uh, Hernandez had that Leg up, ready for him as he went up and over. Pin one, two, and not quite three as Jaden kicks out. The Golden Heartthrobs were in that tag team tournament in the running to possibly win the tag team titles. Eventually, those were won by the OMGs. They still defending those titles here in SWE Fury. Oh, wow. Dropping Jaden over that top rope compressing all the intestines in that lower area of the gut. One, two, another pin there. And you know, I haven't seen anything at all of that great tag team, the Golden Heartthrob, since the OMGs won that tag team tournament. I don't know if they've disbanded or if they are going to continue uh, tagging together occasionally, but seeing a lot of singles action of late with, oh, good grief, the heartthrob Jaden and Bam Bam Malone doing their own separate things here in SWE Fury as Jaden reels in the corner from that big chop. They heard that all the way in Fort Worth, Texas. And we are in Irving, Texas. So, you know, that sound traveled a little bit. Irving, Texas here at the convention center. Great place here. Great place to have a wrestling show. And, oh, boy, oh, again. Golly, and, I, and a lot to do here at the uh, Urban Convention Center on the, the entire grounds. The last time I was here was nearly 10 years ago, and the place has grown up. There are uh, all sorts of restaurants and bars and things to do for the fans while they wait on the show to start here in SWE Fury. And uh, one of the biggest things to do happened here earlier today, that big meet and greet where fans had a chance to meet the likes of Kevin Nash, uh, other great stars like... Our own SWE Fury General Manager Teddy Long, the Boogeyman, Molina, Kaz XL, and many more. Enzo was even here, coming back from an injury not too long ago at the hands of Ivan Warsaw. And uh, he was here to greet the fans earlier today. Jaden coming back there with a flurry of activity, which sends Hernandez into the corner. Here comes Jaden. Taking flight right there. Hope they called that one into the DFW tower as Jaden now sits uh, Hernandez up on that top rope. What's he going to do here? Forearm shot there uh, to keep, uh, keep Hernandez cooperating. Seems that's what he's trying to do. Now what's he going to do up on the 
up on the second rope as well. He's up there himself. What's it going to be? Hernandez trying to fight out, trying to fight out. Oh, good grief. That'll give you a concussion right there. So he comes off the top rope. Huge splash. Hernandez with a pin. Two, three. And your winner is Hernandez here in our opening bout of SWE Fury. We'll be right back, folks. We're back here on SWE Fury, and by look backstage now, it looks like with James Beard and James. We've been friends a long time, so I got to say this from the bottom of my heart: beat it, go, go. It's no great. I mean, Charlie Hawson, privilege here now. I told you that I was going to make an impact in professional wrestling. Who would thought I was done? You were wrong. You were wrong. Say whatever you want about me. Say it. That means you're talking about me. That means I'm doing something right. I did something right with them. We said we were going to kick ass, and that's what we're doing. We're equal opportunity ass kickers. We don't care about your sex, your sexual orientation, your age, your color, your creed. Hell, you get in the ring, we're going to whip your ass. Now I've called out everybody. And there's only one other champion that's dared cross the line. That's Jacob Fatu, the MLW heavyweight champion. Fatu is in town. You know what? You got balls, and I like that. I like that, but I'm going to tell you this, just because it's an open door policy, it doesn't mean you're welcome. You're not welcome, Fatu. One member of uh, Privilege in action coming up next, Max Castellanos, so oh, good grief, coming here against Mil Muertes right after this. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back here on SWE Fury. Kevin Sullivan, Bob Malden here with you. And uh, I don't know why, but we're focused now on that door that a week ago, Boogeyman left and, and took Sula through. And here he comes now, emerging from it again. The Boogeyman is going to join us here in SWE Fury. What is he doing here? <laughs> oh, look at the worms. Oh, he's hanging out of his mouth, Kevin Sullivan. What is he looking for? Uh, wait a minute, look, look at oh. him. Look! Emerging from underneath Boogeyman. Is that Zula? Yes, it is. Oh, wow, look at her. She's just as deranged as he is now. they made in heaven. Boogeyman and Zula. Seem to have made themselves right at home there. Do they know that this place is going to be torn down in a week? What is she doing? <laughs> Zula is taking one of the saddles. Oh, oh. <laughs> what has he done to her? If you'll remember, Boogeyman pulled her into that. What a strange, strange couple they are now. Here they are making their way to the ring as she's riding Boogeyman. Saddle and all. What is going on here? <laughs> Looks like a party at your house on the weekends. They had to call the cops in my house. This, this is unbelievable. I've seen a lot of strange things from Boogeyman in the years that he's been in professional wrestling. But this is by far the strangest. He's taken a mate, Kevin Sullivan. He certainly has. Zula is here with Kevin, with, with Boogeyman, and, and it looks like they're a pair now. He's got his worms. What's he doing? What's he doing? Usually he reserves those for the opponents that he beats. <laughs> so, I think uh, a section of our crowd is wearing worms now. 
Shula. Beautiful and strange as she may be, she's now with Boogeyman and seems very much in a trance. And very much under the spell, whatever it may be, of the Boogeyman. What is he throwing now? entrance to the ring, a little mesmerizing to watch here. As they slowly make their way down the ramp, I don't really know how else to describe this. So I think I'm gonna stop trying. Much to the relief of our audience. special what is he doing here what's he doing well he's putting a stop to whatever this strangeness is we've been watching here and he's, he's doing the worm you better watch it boogeyman will eat you oh wait a minute midnight special chug slam he's gone and now he's asking for worms uh, this this would not be the first time that Midnight Special is at eat. Look, and he's got a big old handful of them right there. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he's going to let Zula do the honors. I wasn't too keen on the uh, presence of worms in the ring until Midnight Special showed up. Now I'm okay with it. Call the clean in crew. Uh, Boogeyman's been here. And Zula, his new partner in crime. <laughs> Welcome back here to SWE Fury as in the ring now is the legend Mil Muertes across the ring from him. Max Castellanos and that steel chair. Outside the ring, lurking is privilege. The uh, bandmates of Max Castellanos there as referee Ben Scheinberg takes on the, uh, the task no one really seems to want, which is to get that steel chair away from Max Castellanos here facing off against the legend Mil Muertes tonight as the bell rings, and we are underway here at SWE Fury, Irving Convention Center, where it's all taking place now. Castellanos must be a little intimidated, or you think so anyway. Standing across the 
away from someone like Mel Muertes, a legend in Mexico, and of course making a big name for himself here in SWE Fury. The two collide, and that's not good. Castellanos is down. Referee Ben Scheinberg seemingly distracted by privilege outside the ring. One Charlie Haas, one Rodney Mack, members of privilege. Forearm shots there from Muertes ducking the clothesline as Castellanos, and here he comes with some forearm clubbing blows there. And in the corner goes Castellanos, big chop from Mel Muertes. Another big chop from Muertes as we bring you in close to the action here on SWE Fury. My goodness. Castellanos in the corner now. Referee Ben Scheinberg checking on him as Muertes, Irish whip off the rope, up and over there, and waiting right behind him is Castellanos with a, a chop of his own, which doesn't seem to phase the KG veteran. Muertes now ready to go, off the ropes again. Oh, big clothesline. Big lariat there as Castellanos slams to the mat. Referee checking on him. Muertes, another big chop. Great crowd on hand here in Irving, Texas at the Irving Convention Center. SWE Fury, North Texas Fury Fest is what it's called. We'll be heading out to West Texas for West Texas Fury Fest at the Lubbock Convention Center. You can find out more information about that show, swefury.com. Get your tickets there as well, or stay tuned. We'll have more details about that coming up here. Uh, first thing in this next commercial break, be sure you watch that. Uh, don't be skipping through these commercials. That's how you learn where we're, where we're coming next. So you can find out where we're going to be so you can make sure that you're on hand for West Texas Fury Fest in Lubbock, Texas. A lot of folks from the DFW area telling us they're going to be heading out that way. Whoa, big baseball slide there is... Castellanos kills time outside the ring there, and the fans are getting an up-close view of privilege as uh, they insert themselves into this. Castellanos running Muertes into the ring apron there. No give out there, and sometimes danger of running straight into one of those exposed boards, which you can see kind of protruding out from under the canvas there. Going for a suplex. What's it going to be? Yeah, suplex, but not what Castellanos intended. That one backfired. As Privilege rushes to the aid of Castellanos there. Got about two centimeters of padding there. Just trying to avoid any busted head, but that certainly doesn't help the uh, spine of Max Castellanos as we see Charlie Haas inserting himself into this. And uh, Castellanos inserting Mil Muertes into those ring steps. Great crowd here tonight for SWE Fury, and you can be a part of it. Get tickets at SWEFury.com for all of our upcoming events. We'd love to have you here and see SWE Fury live. One, two, and DDT proves ineffective at getting three there for Mil Muertes. Muertes bringing up, oh, good grief. Castellanos breaking the jaw there. That's a sidewalk slam. One, two, and uh, referee Ben Scheinberg making his way over slowly, it seemed, to count that pin. I'm sure Castellanos has something to say about that as the two men try to make their way back to their feet here. Charlie Haas, our real world champion. Whoa, looking on from outside. As Muertes. Well, I couldn't see. I believe that was a count of only two there. Our cameraman focused on uh, Charlie Haas trying to sneak into the ring. Muertes, Castellanos, privilege outside the ring. Rodney Mack out there lurking somewhere as well. Our television champion and our real world champion. They all are part of privilege here. Castellanos. Going for something there, pushed away. Oh, wow, 
power slam there from Mil Muertes, two and go. Oh, oh, good grief, it looked like three, but I saw those feet come up of Castellanos. If he could just get the momentum, he was out. And out of that pin, he's going for that chair now. Uh-oh, Mil Muertes seeing that. Charlie Haas looking on from outside as Mil Muertes now taking matters into his own hands here as Castellanos tries to bring a chair into the ring. What, what's happening here? Here he comes. Oh, wow. Muertes going for a spear there. Cassiano stepping aside, and now we have one referee down. The referee's down, but he's not going to be able to even realize what's going on as Muertes could have easily had one, two, three, or ten there with that pin. But here comes Charlie Haas up on the ring apron. And now behind is Rodney Mack in the chair. Good grief, the chair. Rodney Mack in with the chair now. Castellanos pulled on top. Charlie Haas awakening the referee. Two and three. The bell rings. And there you go. Privilege cheating the win once again here on SWE Fury. Haas and Mack in the ring. I've just about seen enough of these guys. Privilege. Rodney Mack and... Charlie Haas coming to the aid of Max Castellanos coming out victorious here on this one here on SWE Fury. We're back here on SWE Fury, and as we have been telling you, Lubbock, Texas, get ready. We are on the way. Lubbock, Texas, it's all happening at the Prima Vista Event Center there in Lubbock. It'll be Saturday, July 24th. We're just a short time away from that. You're going to see great stars in action. Kaz XL, Jacob Fatu, Moonshine, Ryan Mantel, Charlie Haas, and all the privilege. Lacey Von Eric will be there. The debut of the Mortons. Ricky Morton with his son. He'll be there uh, in tag team action. But uh, this one I really want to tell you about. Ivan Warsaw versus Enzo. Again, these guys will be in action. And, and to give you a little bit of perspective, we're going to go back and show you the match that started it all here in SWE Fury. But right now, it looks like we have something from Ivan Warsaw here we need to get to. Sometimes things ain't what they seem to be. Oh, the eyes of the predator. Show sure ain't the vision of the prey. And so he claimed to beat me back in there in Texas. But where is your victory in absence of its glory? <laughs> Boy. I must be getting you pretty trigger happy. Only thing is that gun you hold. Just point it back at yourself. SWE in Lubbock, Texas. Call me Kaborkian. Yeah! Cause the doctor's making house calls. I, your wife in Warsaw, a certified killer. I'll show you him. It ain't hell. God, King, help me down. Wow, don't know what to think about that right there, Ivan Warsaw. But I want to take you back right now and show you where it all went down, where it all got started. This all happened at Eddie Dean's in downtown Dallas. This is the uh, match that started it all. It was a match that sent Enzo to the hospital. Let's go back and take a look at that right now. Demolition at Dean's, not just the name. Last public event being held here in this great facility with a, over 30 years of history in downtown Dallas. And what a way that to, to send this place off by quite literally tearing down the house with SWE Fury. Bound to happen, you know. Wow. Warsaw disposing of Enzo again. Wow. These two very evenly matched, Kevin Sullivan. I'm very interested in uh, Enzo's attack here. Uh, he's overpowered. He's outweighed. He's shorter than his opponent, but he has this special quality that he doesn't seem to be able to give up. Uh, the skies, to me, the people told you how much they think of him before he got, he got in the ring, our first oh. appearance. Oh, wow. Grabbing the head and taking him over. 
is Warsaw there. Oh, it tries to throw him off the ropes there, but Warsaw's got it. Got it locked in. Is he bleeding from the nose? We're back to Texas wrestling, aren't we? Yes, sir. Glad to see that Enzo can bring some Texas wrestling to us here. It was, that was a great amateur move by Enzo. He must have an amateur background as he floated behind him and got on top to get the headlock. That he did. Take over. Nice move by Wausau. Wausau has a very good basics. And he keeps his opponent down. And he, t he doesn't give him too much time to breathe. Warsaw is bleeding from the mouth. Looks like uh, maybe more than one place there. Texas wrestling. Good grief. Brutal match here as they all are in SWE Fury. It doesn't matter if it's a women's match or a, a non-title match or what type of match it is. This match is a non-title match. This is a match to, to see a couple of great talents in action here and what a great matchup it is. And you remember, remember I just said uh, Enzo go, must have an amateur background. He went right behind him. Great move, and he's flying, man, too. Yeah, double great. I, I'm very impressed with the first showing of Enzo. Very impressed. Couple of great drop kicks there. Warsaw rethinking this thing as Enzo is standing dominant in the ring right now as Warsaw looks on. He might have a broken nose. Yeah, I think you're right. You can see where he's bleeding profusely from one nostril. So Enzo must have got an elbow in there or maybe a cross face. Yeah, he's, he's bleeding pretty good. Warsaw back in the ring. Trying to psych out Enzo there a little bit. They lock up again. Thing back to square one here. Headlock being backed into the corner. Referee trying to make a clean break here. Warsaw goes back behind and does that drop toe hold into the middle turnbuckle pad there. Bob, I am surprised by both these guys, the basics in amateur wrestling that they apply. These guys are very, very talented. You can feel the energy in the air here tonight. At this, Demolition at Dean's. At Eddie Dean's, downtown Dallas. This is one of those things where Wausau, you can't judge a book by his cover. Enzo, you better stop moving, my man. Yeah, Warsaw going up there. Look, he was trying to go for a suplex up there on that second rope. Enzo using his head now. And oh. by that, I mean literally using his head. And there he goes, Warsaw. What's Enzo doing? Let's, top rope. Let's hope he doesn't miss. He's on the top rope. What's it gonna be? Oh my goodness! Whoa! Oh! Wow! wow. Have you ever seen a team like that? Never. Katie by the door. This one gonna be over. Oh, he's out of the ring. Warsaw rolls out of the ring now. I don't know how there could be anything left of him. I don't even know. I got the energy to roll. I don't think he has the energy to get back in the ring. Enzo, I wouldn't go out there in no man's land. That had to take something out of him too, Bob. Enzo pursuing Warsaw around the ring. Oh, oh. three ring steps. Ring steps, I heard him. Oh my gosh, cameraman nearly taken out there. He's getting Enzo went into those ring steps. You couldn't see it because it was at, under the feet of our cameraman. Oh, no. Well, tit for tat. DDT of his own, this time on the concrete floor of Eddie Dean's. My goodness. I am so impressed by this Wausau. He got stamina for a big guy. He's got strength. And he's got, obviously, an amateur background. And professionally, he doesn't miss a move. 
uh, but on a rare occasion. So this guy came to fight Enzo, and he, there it is. Oh, no. The bell rings. Enzo is out. Wow. This is a unique situation. All right, wait a minute. Now the uh, referee giving the sign that Enzo needs help. Teddy Long is out at the ring. Let's get the cameras down there. I want to see what's going on here. Warsaw makes his way to the back. He's leaving. He was a big underdog, I would have thought, didn't you? Uh, yeah, and uh, but Enzo is is down, apparently out from that DDT on the concrete. We're waiting to see. Wow, Tom Lance, our Ladies and gentlemen, I've just been informed by the referee that this has been ruled a time limit draw. And as a result of that right there and subsequent actions, when we get to Lubbock, Texas, Enzo in Warsaw, balls count anywhere. You can never survive in a world of casualty. Open roads, start to break, build my legacy. One judgment. here on SWE Fury. And we have another title of defense here tonight as Khan makes his way to the ring right now. And Kevin Sullivan, he's after what I would guess is way more than 10 pounds of gold these days with that real world title around the waist of Charlie Haas. Yes, and he's a good looking athlete. I mean, he looks like he's chiseled from a piece of granite. Uh, this is gonna be a test for Charlie, I believe. I don't think Charlie face the guy that's going to be this quick and this strong in one package. Well, you know what Charlie Haas has to do is someone of this size. He has to cut him down. He has to start working low, like on the legs, get him down to his size so that he can move in for the kill. And that's exactly what Charlie Haas will be doing here tonight in SWE Fury as he defends that real world championship belt that's around his waist right now place there, I might add, by a referee earlier tonight. Something Teddy refused to do, which I thought was pretty great. Charlie Haas not going out of his way to make any friends here tonight in Dallas, Texas. Does he ever, Bob? Does he even need to? Why bother? He's the champion. The real world champion. He can do what he wants. And he'll be defending the belt on June 19th, won't he? Absolutely right. If he's still champion. That's one thing he will be doing if he is a champion at that time. Whoever holds that belt will be defending it Ladies down the road here. Let's go to the ring for the announcement. For the SWE Real World Championship and has been sanctioned by the SWE Board of Directors. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first the challenger. He weighed in this afternoon at 234 pounds from Minneapolis, Minnesota. This is Khan! Well, we know who the people are behind. And ladies and gentlemen, yep. his opponent. He weighed in this afternoon at 225 pounds. He hails from Edmond, Oklahoma. He is the reigning and defending SWE Real World Champion. This is Charlie Haas. Charlie Haas there, the real world champion. It says so right on the belt. Now, what was the purpose of that, Kevin Sullivan? I mean, we already knew he was the champion. Well, I think it's because he's thrown that open challenge. And let me ask you this, Bob. If people don't take the challenge, doesn't that mean he's the real champion? Well, I, we, we have yet to see if anyone has taken that challenge. He, he's, he's reaching out across different sports. 
He's reached out to MMA fighters, the Paul brothers. Uh, and he's got, he's, he mentioned Dan Severn. Uh, you mentioned him actually earlier. Uh, other UFC fighters that, that will be uh, potentially answering that challenge. We'll see as Charlie oh. goes to work. And like we said, he's going to start down there low. He's got to cut the man down to size to take on the someone the size of Khan. Standing at six feet, 235. Made his debut in 2017 from Minneapolis. That's Khan in the ring right now. You've seen him in Ring of Honor and other great promotions across the United States. And he's here in SWE Fury now facing our SWE oh. Fury champion. He could leave here tonight, our champion. Charlie Haas here, in a, and maybe this has to do with that, wow. Nice move. Hip tossing a big elbow there, putting Charlie Haas in his place, but I was gonna mention Charlie Haas is in more of a traditional wrestling attire tonight. We've seen him so much here lately in just pants and a shirt coming to the ring. It's good to see Charlie in wrestling gear again. As he goes to work on that knee of Khan now. Got to bring the men down to his level, and that's what he's doing by taking the feet off and running. Oh, no. Pulls that pad down. Oh, oh. good grief. Could have told you that was going to end bad. Charlie's a wrestling machine. What did he just that, the, that was the bell. He is the base of the ring bell, and... Charlie just brutal here tonight in Dallas, Texas, Eddie Dean's Ranch. But don't forget, June 19th, we want you there with us Oof. at the Irving Convention Center. Great building. Also the home of Zest Fest. You ever been to Zest Fest? No, but I'd like to go. It sounds uh, wonderful. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of hot, spicy stuff they serve there. They were a great partner of SWE Fury here recently. Wow, look at Charlie working that knee even worse. I'm surprised that the thing is still in socket. Let me ask you something, Bob. We have the senior referee in there. What, when does he call a stoppage when it looks like right now that Khan isn't gonna be able to get up to his feet? And if he does, one of them is not gonna work. Well, as uh, we've seen in the past in this type of situation, especially in the instances where Charlie Haas has systematically cut someone down like this, it's as long as they keep trying to fight, as long as they keep trying to get up, I, and, and some of these guys just don't know when to quit. I mean, we're talking about the world championship on yes. the line right now. You're right. My mistake. You, get a, you may never get a chance like this again, Con. I mean, Sometimes the pain doesn't even matter. Oh. oh, wow. A kick to the head, then Charlie landing on his head there as a result of that one. God needs to get up to his feet. I can't imagine the pain he's in right now. Charlie to his feet. God behind him. Close line in the back elbow as Charlie stumbles to the corner. Reeling a little after that one, he goes to try to put up oh. the boot. Oh, wow. Took a page out of Charlie's playbook there. That's something we've seen Charlie. Oh, oh good oh, move. Oh, wow. And suddenly the tide turns. The tables, they have turned. The people behind him, that's for sure. What's he Khan, don't do, do anything stupid right now. This is a high-risk move, this. and the reward isn't going to be what you think. Oh, what? did Charlie just pick up a kid and throw him against Charlie him? threw a kid! Did he just throw, use he, a kid as a, a foreign a, object? He uh, used a kid to knock him off the ropes? Good grief! 
You have got to be kidding me. Can, can we see that back later, Bob? All right, let's, let's do a replay right now. I used a kid. All right, that is the lowest of the low. Oh, the people are horrified, and I am too. Where's the kid? Probably bounced off the floor after that. Wow. Just when we think we've seen the most deranged of Charlie Haas, he surprises this was even more derangement. Here he goes now. Oh no, it's that submission maneuver oh. again. Look at it, look He's, at it. Oh, look at it. it just oh. wrenching on the knee. Oh, it tests out, Khan is gone. Oh, Make say. him break. Gentlemen, Make him break. And still, SWE Real World Champion, Charlie Haas! Who picks up a kid from the front row and throws him at the ropes? To make a guy fall off of him. Have you ever seen anything like that, Kevin Sullivan? There's only one answer, Charlie Haas. Good grief. We are back here in a little bit. More titles on the line tonight. Our SWE Fury Tag Team titles on the line tonight. The OMGs taking on Niles Blanquet and Flex Serba. A kid, Kevin Sullivan. Do you believe that? No, I can't. I've seen a lot of dastardly things in the wrestling business. But that one tops the cake. We're back with more SWE Fury right after. What is what is this? We're, we're back right after this, ladies and gentlemen. We're out time for this. We're back on SWE Fury. Well, tag team action about to get underway here. But here it goes uh, already without even a ring announcement here. We have the War Kings. That would be Crimson and Jax. Here with Barry and Blanquet, or as Barry likes to be called, Flex. And they are it, this already getting started here. I, I, the bell rings, but they're outside the ring now. Not even sure who a legal man would be, if there even is one. Uh, not sure referee has a lot of great control right now, but we see Flex in the ring now. And in comes Jax. I guess these two are going to be the legal men. Don't know who determined that, but here they are. Jack's running into the elbow of Flex there, who comes out with a shoulder, forcing Jacks into the corner. And oh, big splash there, doing nothing but making the big man angry. Here comes Planque now. What is this? Irish whip reverse now. And there goes Flex flying into Jacks. And there's one from Planque as well. Niles Planque and, and uh oh, wait a minute. This, uh, again, I tell you, you have to really work hard to attempt to do anything to that man right there. He is a wall of muscle. Jax Dane. As Crimson now uh, is coming in from that other corner. Referee trying to get, oh, good grief. And there he is. Crimson coming in and cold cocking Plunkey upside the back of the head there. The forearm on the back of the head. The referee didn't see that happen as now Plunkey is reeling in the middle of the ring. Jackson Crimson. The latest find of one Nigel Rabbit of the Rabbit Empire. And uh, he's bringing these guys in here who are going to just blow their way through this tag team division. And I have to say, uh, I'm concerned about the OMGs. I don't like that. But, uh, but you know, those guys, a young, rel relatively new tag team. Uh, these guys, I've seen them work together all over the United States and now they're together under the tutelage of Nigel Rabbit here in SWE Fury and look at that when I said he's a wall of muscle I meant it Jack slamming into Planque there and uh, belly to belly from Crimson now as Ni Niles tries to make his way to the corner doesn't make it as Nigel Rabbit looks on Nigel Rabbit there looking at one of his former clients, Mr. Niles Planque, who was a part of the Rabbit Empire for quite some time. Planque getting out on his own before joining up with Flex. Michael Berry, here he comes, flurry of chops and forearms there coming out of the corner and right back into the corner he goes. And man, that forearm chops combination there from Crimson in the corner. 
and slowly melting into the canvas is Planquet now. Admonished by the referee, Crimson backs out but then goes right back to work with the boot to the throat of Planquet. Planquet gonna have to make it to his corner soon or this thing is gonna be over. Headbutt there in the corner. Tag is made and here comes Jax again thrown into the corner, a double up again. Big clothesline there. Lays Planquet straight into the canvas, nearly through the canvas. And the wood underneath and steel, ah, that hit hard. Jax now working on a, got a grip on that shoulder muscle there, squeezing. Squeezing on Planquet, who now somehow finds it a way to muster up the strength to get to his feet, deliver an elbow, jawbreaker, and, uh, or neckbreaker rather, and then uh, into the corner goes Jax, who makes a tag there to Crimson, who goes straight over to take care of who might have been there for Planquet to tag in, and they work together there, they go. Oh, this is over, this is over. One, two, three, and Planquet is a puddle in the middle of the ring as Jackson Crimson are making their mark on the Tag Team Division here in SWE Fury. We're back here on SWE Fury. Christy Jane's Eva Lee in the ring right now. That women's title is on the line. This one is getting started right at the bell. Christy Jane's going to work right now on Eva Lee. I don't think we're even trying to see if those were closed fists or forearms or not, but Eva Lee is here. She's a woman on a mission and she wants that women's title from Christy Chains. And folks, we are back here on SWE Fury and action getting underway quick here in this, our main event for the SWE Fury women's title. So glad you could join us here as we're coming to you from the Urban Convention Center, Irving, Texas. Wow, look at that arm drag from Christy Janes. Eva Lease. She's been everywhere, done everything there is to do except walk away with that SWE Fury Women's Championship. And here she is right now with Christy Chain. She's got the, the arms hooked. She's coming off the, oh, good grief. Big kick to the face there from Eva Lee's pin. One, two. We were one away from having a brand new women's champion in Eva Lee's here. Christy Jane's been holding that title for quite a while now, and uh, she's here to defend it this week and, uh, and, and seemed to come out here with a chip on her shoulder. I mean, she's had to defend that title almost every week here on TV, and I, I'm not sure why it's such a big deal that it's against Eva Lee this time. We've uh, seen run-ins with these two uh, in the past, and uh, this time, though, it seems like Christy Jane's, wow, just throwing her down hard onto the mat. Eva Lee's running straight into that boot there from Christy Janes. Wow, huge flying drop kick there. Coming off the top rope is Christy Janes. Totally skipped that entrance with all the dancing and the, the feathers and everything we're so used to from seeing uh, Christy Janes make her way to the ring. She darted to the ring out here just before uh, we could even get back from commercial break to face off against Eva Lee in the ring and uh, good grief. This is hard hitting action from the ladies here. I've said it almost every week when they come out here, no better women's division anywhere than right here in SWE Fury. This main event tonight with the SWE Fury Women's Championship on the line and Christy James could retain it right here too and right at the last moment Eva Lee. Getting out of there, getting that hand up in the air, using the backside there a little bit on Christy Chains. Uh, out of pin here, one, two, just uh, barely kicking out there. Crowd cheering for Christy Chains here to retain that title against Eva Lee's who has made her way here to SWE Fury uh, with her eyes on that gold up here. Wow, Christy Janes 
Getting in a little offense there, too, and no. Eva Lease. Hanging on to the opportunity just a little while longer now. Christy Jane's now going, trying to pull Eva Lease out there. She turns around, takes Christy Jane's a couple times there. Christy Jane's down for me. Good grief. Right there, pin one, two. This could be it. Good for only two. Referee Soda Hendricks trying to explain another pin. This time looks like only one. This is our main event here tonight on SWE Fury. Christy Janes defending. Eva Lease challenging. Eva Lease up again now. What's it going to be this time? Christy Janes. Oh, wait a minute. Eva Lease grabbing a hold there. Wait a minute. She's hooked her now. And she's trying to wrap her up with those legs. What is this? Eva Lease has Christy Janes all sorts of tied up. But Christy manages to get out of that just barely. Eva Lee's going for the clothesline. Christy Tucks, belly to back. Somebody has to do something here. As TV time runs out here in this main event, Christy Janes, Eva Lee's. Christy wanting to walk out of here. Well, wait a minute, with that belt, the belt is outside the ring now. Whoa! Christy Janes runs out. I don't know what happened to Soda Hendricks, but. Christy Janes runs straight into her own belt. Oh no, Eva Lee's gets her with a pin. One, two, three. We have a brand new women's champion. A new women's champion, Eva Lee. Eva Lee wins. Wait a minute. What she did, she baited Christy Janes over with that title, used it to knock her in the head, knock her out, and then pin her. One, two, three, and we have a new women's champion in Eva Lee. Folks, that's all for this week. We'll see you next time here on SWE Fury.